Oh my god, it's spurting again! Oh my god, seal the titties. Seal the nipple. It's exactly what I thought it was. Yeah. Bullshit. I'm gonna cr it's bullshit, yes, essentially. <laughs> the answer is bullshit. Okay, cool. Oh wait, but can I I have high jump now, right? Parkour! So can I Yeah! Whoa! That was beautiful, man. I've got hops. You got them dude, put sword on the NBA. Watch this, LeBron! <laughs> <laughs> I love how it's just fucking get fuck Shaq! Okay, there we go. It's just watch this shit! Doesn't make it. <laughs> what is that thing on the wall? That's the stingray that killed Steve Irwin. <laughs> what? That's the stingray that killed Steve Irwin. Who the fuck is Steve Irwin? Yeah. Huh? Is that not his name? I don't, I don't know who you're talking about. Shut the fuck up. I don't know who you're talking Wait, about. That, am I being stupid? Hold on. Unless I'm being stupid. It's one of the two. Like, I recognize the name, but I also don't at all. No, I'm right! The Australian fucking zookeeper who did the fucking show got killed by the stingray! Oh, Steve! Oh my god! How could you have forgotten his name? That's blasphemy. Right, 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 right. That's blasphemy. I've seen, like, there's, like, what is it? There's Mr. Rogers, be nice to your neighbors. There's Bob Ross, be nice to, um, yourself. Or, yourself. And Steve Irwin, be nice to nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh my god, the thing is swinging. But yes, I know what you're talking about. I was gonna now. say, Jesus Christ! He died from a stingray. Yeah, that's how Steve Irwin died. He got stung by a stingray and he died. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Sure. Why not? A safe point room. What you say? Oh. And then, <laughs> someone said, if I ever find the taser napkin that took out Irwin, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> the taser napkin. That's what they are, man. <laughs> that's one way to describe. That's the, the stingray. That's the correct way to describe a stingray. A taser napkin. That's what they are. Okay, dude. Whatever you They're say. They're little flat napkins with tasers on their ass. I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. But I always love doing like the touch tank at the aquarium so you can pet the pet the stingrays. You let you fuck with that. Yeah. And like the little nurse sharks. Yeah. yeah. They feel like, dude. I love the feeling of. They're like slimy, but they're not. And they're kind of firm but squishy. They- Shh, we gotta be quiet. They're all asleep. I need a fiver. You got a fiver on ya? <laughs> sure, let's have a, a nice calm bounty room. It doesn't matter. Either way, the next room has no heartless in it. Yeah. So, um, you know what they kind of feel like? The texture and, like, the, the firmness of the shark? No. It kind of yes. feels like a mushroom. I- I get that. No, I get that. Touching yeah. a shark feels like eating a mushroom. Like it- we learned fire raid. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, that's what that means. Very nice. Thank I, you. I love the- I, I kind of want to squish them. You know? I kind of want to squish the sharks. Stop touching animals. I love just the sensory input of touching sharks. Can someone tell me what this means? Uh, it means fuck you. I guess it means we- I think we needed a zero. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which luckily, that's all we had. We're not fresh out of cards. Cool. We probably should have fought the heartless out. in that room. What's happening? Why is it pulsating? Ooh, I don't like the way that floor texture moves. Yeah. The way it moves outwards? Yeah. It looks like this is as far as we go. Right then, let's shake things up. Is there no boss here? I'd love it if there was. It would be easier if we had someone to fight. Perfect time, looks like we've got company. Bruh. Is it's it just gonna be like a wave heartless. of heartless? Probably. I don't know what else they could possibly be doing. Bruh. This is not a boss. Oh! This might be a boss. Oh! Monstro's... Monstro's Belly Brawl. Defeat the Heartless to fill the gauge. Fill the gauge within the time limit. We've got two minutes. The gauge will slowly decrease if you don't kill it in time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's fine. Oh, that bar goes down fast, yeah. dude. Yeah. No, it's fine, it's fine. As long as we're being surrounded by the heartless, we're being fine. We're we're being we're okay. Fine. We're being everything's everything's being fine. Fine. Everything's good. Everything's good. I'd like to please Donald. Please, please. Yeah. Please. Please. Oh, gooby. it's ticking down, gooby, dude. Gooby, 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 gooby. It's ticking down, dude. It, it should really let me fucking recharge my cards while I'm doing this. That would be fantastic if it would. Oh, here we go. We only got a minute. We only got a minute twenty-four. No, we're still fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. Oh my god. Please. Please. My only issue is I feel like the Heartless aren't respawning fast enough. No, they are not. There you go. Oh, that was it? We didn't have to fill it? 
I, got, I think that last one did fill it. Did it? We got Dumbo. Awesome. CP boost. Yeah, it. you want to just keep... Yeah, we need it. Yeah. I feel like I've been fine on health for a while. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I can just add a shitload of cards now. Yeah, exactly. Whew! No. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yuck. Wait, why did they both say that? Why did Donald and Gooby both they say didn't. that? They didn't. It, it was there just was two arrows. There was two pointing arrows. Both no, it was just a spiky bubble. Oh, okay. It's very much gonna sneeze. Sneeze us out. Sneeze us out. Sneeze us out. We. Is that it? I don't know. Oh, we're back here now. Oh, but the boat's gone, so it did work. Cool. Ow! Now I know what getting shot at a can feels like. Where's Pinocchio and his dad? They're gone. They must have gotten out safely. Yeah. That didn't happen last time. No. Without you, Jimmy, I thought there was no escaping your conscience. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about anymore. Nope, fuck it. Who cares? Have you ever thought about the fact that Jiminy doesn't really look like a cricket? At all? What do crickets look like? He just looks like a tiny human. Well, his nose is very cricket-like. Crickets don't have noses. I'm gonna look up cricket nose on Google real quick and see what happens. That's a great thing. Maybe you know you doesn't need me after all. What do you mean? He's got his own conscience. I mean, he has his own sentience. His head shape is very cricket-like. I guess, but he doesn't have like pinchers at all, or antennas. That's what bothers me. He probably does underneath the hat. No, I don't think he does. Look up Jiminy Cricket without a hat on. Okay. <laughs> this is we need to know this. <laughs> Look him up naked. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket, butt ass naked. Jiminy Cricket in the nude. There's nothing better than being reunited with someone you care about. I bet Pinocchio's counter days still. Yeah. Yeah, you got him. That is hair. That no, is it's hair. It's meant to be the antennas. No, it's not. That is hair. That is. Those are two tufts of hair. We need to call Walt Disney on the phone right now. Hold on, let me call Disney. Uh, yeah, Disney, can you just put the phone up to Walt's head, please? In yeah, the in thing. The freezer, in the freezer. Can you just unfreeze it real quick? Hold on. Let me ask. No, do not actually call Disney. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me ask a clarifying question for Disney real quick. <laughs> okay, we get to leave. I really want to. I really want to call them now and just ask. I mean, what's the harm? Damn, we really just fucking sped through Herc and Monstro. Good. Yeah. Like really fucking quick. This is episode three. Oh, I need to. I like should this session it here. This was episode nine. Okay. All together. I've been getting better at keeping track. I haven't. So. Yeah. If you had to know, we're on episode nine. Because, I mean, what we've been doing for this is we've been doing three in a row is pretty much the whole time. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we get to fight so Larkseen now? Name's Axel. Got it memorized. Mm. Just, Just bits, bits and, and pieces. pieces. I love Maybe Reese's Pieces. Try They're good. Some more stuff top about her. five candy Hello, of all time, probably. Might even help you remember other Maybe things. top ten. What's your favorite candy bar? Well, uh... Candy bar? Bar. She was quiet. Oh, uh, Kit Kat. And always drawing Kit Kat. Yeah, Kit Kat's my favorite. I don't know why I don't consider a Kit Kat to be a candy bar. She draw a picture bar. instead of swimming. No? And no, because it's not, like, really too. bar bar she shaped. Really good. No. And, like, you break it off and just eat the pieces. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I like, it's itty bitty kind of. Alright, then like next. bar bar. And bar bar, I can see like a Milky Way. Oh, or, like Snickers. a Snickers. Cool. Yeah. Snickers is my favorite. Okay. Just like that. Payday. Yeah? I love me a good payday. Yeah. I don't know what they're talking about. Who cares? They might <laughs> Honestly, who cares? What would Riku say if a candy bar be? Butterfingers. But I was little. I probably didn't know that. That checks out. No, I feel like Sora's would be a Butterfinger. I remember. Sora is the Sora butter is a finger. Milky way. Gone. No, Sora I think I think Riku's a dark chocolate Milky Way. Yeah. Yeah. Kyrie, what is she like? Kyrie likes Kit Kats. I still don't. Kyrie likes Kit Kats. Kyrie likes Kit Kats. Forest Green. <laughs> Forest Green. <laughs> Forest Green Part Two. Kyrie likes Kit Kats and Forest Four Green. Four gets greener. I must point out, Sora keeps remembering things instead of forgetting them. Yep. It seems to me, forgetting things may be the only way 
to reach the memories buried deeper down inside each of us. Why does Jiminy not forgetting the memories? So we should forget Jiminy's God. Have you not discovered this? Oh my God, Jiminy's just fucking. Oh. Four is green. Kyrie likes Kit Kats and Jiminy's, Jiminy's God. God. Got it. We figured it all out. Answer to life right there. We can die easy now. Yep. <laughs> I'm done. Being losing and losing being finding. I didn't get it at first, but who the maybe fuck built this place? This is what they meant. Sure like, who came in here and like sure, architect? Sure. Like, I'm a who chiseled these pillars? Me and Isn't it like not even a real place? Isn't this not even real. Stuff from I mean, memories. it is still a real place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just magic. Is the answer just magic? Is magic. There always just gonna be magic. If there's a plot hole, it's magic. Do you think before there was magic, people lived like normally, like we do? Maybe. Maybe this is America. This is this is fucking Mississippi after magic. <laughs> Mississippi after magic. There she is. The effects of magic on. Oh, <laughs> censor that as out. We intended. We'll continue with our. Party. I might have to strangle you. Let's I'll write the see time how down. Far this group will go. You had your fun on the first floor. So this time, Chesk -chesk. it's my turn. Makes more work for me. Ooh, he really just <laughs> threw that at her. They've got a kinky relationship, and it shows. Whoa! I'm not going to. Look! Look at the way they're fucking. Don't yeah. To caressing yeah. each other. Do I detect a soft spot? I'm not gonna break the toy. I'm not you. dumb. Don't forget, Sora is the key. We need him if we're going to take over the organization. There you go. She's I fucking... know that you're in on it too. But keep Bruh. it under your hood. At keep it under your hood. Times, right? Bye. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> would have been wise to have done the same, Lark scene. What the fuck's happening? Lark scene. What was her name? What did her name used to be? I have no idea. I'm gonna Google that. I don't remember what it was. I'm looking it up. I'm, I've been on the Google game today. What so, Sora, did anything scenes. back there help you remember Maybe your friend's before. name? Uh, her name's the El only thing Lert. I can't seem to remember. What? How the fuck do you say that? Elrena? 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 Elrena. Yeah, oh. I know Axel's is Lee, Marluxia's is Larium. Oh my god, we earned a trophy, Woven Memories. What would Our your, what would your uh, Organization 13 name be? Nebsk. Nebex. No. <laughs> the... Hmm. Bzz. 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 I don't know, man. I don't... <laughs> Fuck, I actually want to think about this. Yeah. Unless you were to take my full name. Yeah. You could take Benjamin and try and... Put an X in there somewhere. You do nitty acts for me. Nidiax, N I D E A X. N I D E. That'd be Nidix. Yeah, something like that. I just put my name backwards and put an X at the end because I didn't want to think about rearranging. Oh, names. you did? Yeah, I didn't want to rearrange. I guess names. I'm going to Halloween Town. I guess you're Nedix. No. <laughs> Zebin? You do Zebin. He'll be Zebin. I think Zevin works better than Nebix. Yeah. Oh, it's his Kingdom Hearts 1 outfit. I'm missing my stomach! Where did my stomach go? <laughs> I can't eat! <laughs> she just falls out. Yeah. <laughs> like, gorse. gorse. Looks like I don't like the looks of this place. I bet it's crumb. The ghost. That's how they you, spell gorse. They really just don't know that they've been here before this point. Like, they've lost. Yo, them. who's tweaking in my right <laughs> yeah, ear? Yeah, what the fuck? He's like, <laughs> No, I really goes to fight. What was that? <coughs> you good? I just my soul. It was trying to leave my body, and I just had to force it back, back down. in. Scarf that shit back down. Trust me. Okay, what are we doing here? Can we please? Whoa! Hey oh! Oh, now we're down. Whack! <laughs> yeah, actually. Well, it was the best trick I've heard in ages. Oh, thank you. If you're that easy to scare, we're gonna have a great time. 
Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Jack Skellington. This is Halloween Town, and I'm the Pumpkin King. I'm, I'm running for president. My name is Jack Skellington. <laughs> My name is Jack Skellington, and I'm running for president. I'm running for president. <laughs> of the spooky party. Too bad. I don't even. 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 Oh no! Heartless! Yeah, this is honestly all filler. This is. It's. Hi, I'm Jack Skellington. There's Heartless around us now. This is the filler series. <laughs> yeah, this is the. F yeah, for sure. This is the beach episode. This whole. And now at this point, nine episode series is the beach episode. Have fun with that, y'all. <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh my god, where- Yo! Why is there a flower here? The sun for um, me after looking at bro. <laughs> la, 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 la. That's a little inside joke. I have no idea what you're talking about. Awesome, guess I'm just crazy. I can show it to you. Are you talking about the Plains vs. Zombies sunflower? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Why are there yeah, demons? Oh no, wait, Halloween Town. Got it. Would you just ask why there's demons in Halloween Town? Boil! Hey, buddy, Why I, is he uh, telling me to boil? Yeah. Boil! Hmm. I'm gonna fucking cook you in your sleep. Jesus, Goofy. <laughs> you look like you taste good on a hot dog. Yeah. Yeah. Hot dog! Ah, oh, the hot dog bit. It'll never end. It's yeah. a long running one. I'm just sad that there's, like, we can't no zoom in anymore. Camera. Yeah. Well, not until the next one. I don't think there's one in the next one. I, there's no Goofy in the next one. Oh, you're right. What's the big idea? Why'd you go and call the Heartless? I didn't call them. They just knew when they were gonna. Sh I just knew. Okay. If you'd love to get rid of them. Okay. Why are they here? Okay. Let's go ask <coughs> the doctor. I've just been jamming. I've <laughs> been jamming, yeah. I've just been jamming. Oh my god, he's not gonna lose it. Oh my god! Fuck you! Fuck you! Sora learns terror! <laughs> oh damn. We don't even have a Mushu. We don't, we, even, we have don't Mushu. even have a Mushu. How could we? What is it? Strike fear in the enemies so they no longer approach. That's. Something. something, yeah. We'll never use these ever. We got the key of beginnings. We're gonna be. Oh, I have no cards. In the meaning. In the meaning. Woo! I have. I have not a single card. Oh, I do. I've got one. I have one zero card. Oh my god. Yep. It's Yo. a great day. Where am I going? I'm heading up there. Okay. Can you it. can you here pause for a second? Don't don't pause the game. Just just look at the Jack Skellington card. It looks like he's yelling at the manager at McDonald's. It looks like he's ready. He's ready to. He's like Jack looks ready to take a hot dog in that picture. <laughs> it's a it's like a perfectly circular. It goes in the square hole. It's like I ask for no pickles every time I come to the I, I go to any other McDonald's and it's not a problem. Every time I come to your restaurant, it's a problem. I don't know how hard it is for my simple request to be fulfilled. I did it. I hit a guy. Yeah. Yay! Good job. Are you proud of me, mommy? You think Jack Skellington yeah. would be a character yeah. Karen? A Karen? Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. He's like, yeah. look, all I'm asking for here is that I get like a. Some service here. You work for me. I'm the customer. I'm paying you. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Ugh. So bad. I had my first ever. Can I speak to your manager this weekend? Did you? Work. Did you fucking? Oh. Yeah. She came up to the like the, the office that I like am in. Yeah. Has like the front window to pay. Yeah. And then it also has a little side door mm -hmm. to bring items because we can like hold items for people while they're still shopping. Yeah, we're gonna an antique store. Yeah, yeah, because that's what we did for the other. And time. um, <laughs> she comes up to the side door and was just like, "Is there a manager I can speak to?" And I'm like, "That would be either me or my coworker who's over in the office right now. If you just wait at the front for a second, we'll be right with you." Yeah. And then she disappears to walk to one of our floor workers. 
who are like on the totem pole yeah. not qualified to deal with that. Yeah. I'm like, okay. It's just because the floor workers are all like way older than us. So they seem they have more it's, power. Oh, the two teenagers standing at the front desk or the like 60 year old man who is working the floor. Yeah. But like our yeah. positions say otherwise, but you went just based off our age. Right. So what was her deal? What was she peeved about? I don't remember. Yeah, but she talked to him for like a solid ten minutes about something. Poor guy. Yeah, he's one of our favorites too. Yeah. He's a champ. We love him. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's why. I, I mean, like, I'm so glad I don't work in any sort of customer service job. I honestly, I love it. I, I love it. Yeah. It's fun, especially when you know who you're working with. And, like, you work with the people. Yeah. When you work with a friend. Mm. And like over the summer, we're not that busy at all. For sure. Yeah. I should update the deck. Should. I should update my deck. I gotta love this deck. Oh my god. Great. We need no, a three. New deck. I we need a it. three and a four. Have barbecues on my dick all the time. So Family comes together there. on my deck. Barbecue sauce on my titties. Okay. Oh yeah, we got fucking plenty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you done? Yeah. Okay. I got some juicy uh, music industry gossip to tell you. What? I got some juicy music industry gossip to tell you. Okay. Um. So recently, uh, an artist by the name of Charlie XEX dropped an album called Brat. And it's really cool. It's a great pop album. Um, I listened to it a couple times over now, and I, I enjoyed it. It's it's not like my favorite thing I've heard this year, because um, it's just not really. That's my, gonna put me over, right? My my vibe of music. Yeah. But it's, it's a good album, right? Um, so she releases this album, and she's not you know a huge artist. She's not tiny by any means, but she's not huge. Um, so this album pops off, and it's probably her yeah, best yeah. commercially received album of her career. And she's actually, you know, she's charting on the billboards, and it's, it's really great. Uh, she's getting a lot of attention from this album, and, and people are really enjoying it. Uh, so Taylor Swift. Ugh! <laughs> a couple, uh, you know, she dropped her newest album, Tortured Poet Society, which, you know, was released to mixed reviews. The, of course, the parasocial, diehard, toxic, like, Swifties thought it was God's gift to music, but... It sucked. Anybody who looked at it objectively and critically... It can, sucked. It, it has some flaws. It was so bad. The production's not great. The the lyrics are a little flat and uh, uninspired. It's just not a great album. Not her best. She's had good albums. This is just not her best. Uh, and that's fine. But anyways, you know, she's got a stranglehold on those 14-year-old girls, and they're going to keep buying and rebuying her albums. And she knows that. So in order to stay at number one on the billboards even though her album was mid as fuck she keeps releasing like new versions of it so that way it boosts her sales because she knows that her diehard fans are gonna want to buy the new version every time it drops so she already re released her new album oh like 10 times that's it just came out like a couple months ago oh it gets worse that's not even that bad you know that's just kind of how the music industry works is you want to oversell so that way you can stay at the top of the chart whatever she's just playing the game but where it gets really petty is where charlie xcx uh she's a uk based pop star uh and she she charted number three in us right because her new album's doing really great uh, and she's never had this sort of attention before. Yeah, so I've never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, so it's really great that she's kind of, you know, this has been her kind of her, her big album. This is her, her most commercially uh, successful album. It's been her big one. Uh, and she's from the UK, and she's got more of a UK fan base because of that. Yeah. So she charted number three in America, but we're expecting, yeah, we're expecting in the UK she's probably going to chart maybe to number one, right? And that, that'd be really cool for her. Yes. Well... Taylor Swift oh, charting in the you. charting number one in the UK is like oh I have competition and know what she does right as Charlie drops her deluxe version of her album in in the UK to try to get number one so this is her first re-release of her album Taylor's on like number six yeah um Taylor drops a exclusively for the UK version that's so fucked to up. block her out of the of the chart that is so incredibly fucked up. 
Yeah. So here's this this you know artist who's just getting their big big moment in the spotlight, big commercial album, about to go number one in her own country, and Taylor releases a version of her album that was mid as fuck in that country to block her out of the position. That's so fucked up. On so many levels. It's really be just a three, such be a, a three. Be a three. Fuck you. Such a, a cutthroat thing to do, you know. And like, I get it's the music industry, but you've already made your dime, you know. And then some. And then some. And also polluted our atmosphere to no end. I just, you know, God. Be a good person challenge. Impossible for Taylor Swift. Genuinely. Just like, I get, like, uh, uh, she's so good at playing PR and wrapping her fans around her finger. Because then it, it, you know. You know, I say don't talk politics on this show. But, you know what? Sorry. We can talk all the shit about Taylor Swift as we want. Uh, uh, that one I will... I will stand on that ground till I die. And this isn't government politics. This is music industry politics. Yeah. This it's a different ball game. It's a different ball game. Oh, but they could still get just as angry. Oh yeah, the Swifty fans are crazy because they've been fucking parasocially fucking groomed essentially by this pop star into fucking being diehard fans, Fuck, and consuming her three. garbage forever. I need a three. It's just it's crazy. It's wild. <sighs> That's fucked up. No. Could you imagine, like, oh my god, I'm gonna be the number one spot in my own country. Yeah. Taylor Swift is like, no, I'm gonna release my own version of this shitty album. In I mean, did it work? Is Taylor Swift? Oh yeah, she's still number one. She's still number oh one. Oh my god. That's so fucked up. It's possible that Charlie can kind of sneak it and maybe she'll take it by, you know, in these coming months, but I, the, the re-release of that album really is not helping. No. So it's very possible that she's not gonna get it. I can imagine. Yeah. So that's just kind of a bummer, you know. And and way to way to support your other fellow musician musicians, right? right? You know, like you really can't fucking accept the fact. Like she's already been number one in the billboards for like fucking a decade since the album like, came out. Well, yeah, I, I mean, but like it's more specifically this this most recent album cycle. Yeah. Um, it's just it's just scummy. At the end of the day, it's just scummy. There's no defending that. And, like, I get when Swifties get mad at people for just being blatantly misogynistic, because I won't lie, there is that, like, aspect of Taylor Swift hate. But there's the Taylor Swift hate that's just misogyny, and then there's the real, authentic shit that actually is, like, yeah, that's just a scummy thing she did. And that's what makes it so hard to talk critically about Taylor Swift, is because Swifties will just be, like, just write it off as, oh, you're being a misogynist. And it's like, no. Yeah. No, I, there's these legitimate, like... Right, and, and she knows that. Issues that we have. Taylor, Taylor knows that, and that's how she manipulates her fan base into thinking that she can do no wrong. Because she's like, oh, my majority, like, my primarily female fan base... God, they're, they're coming after me! It's the misogyny! Because, like, of course that's going to strike a chord with her yeah. female fan base. Can I just get a three, please? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to get a three next time, and I'm also going to feel like a controller to the... Fucking, I almost said computer. I mean, yeah, the computer's there, so it's gonna go there. Go by. Anyways, fuck you, Taylor Swift. That's <laughs> <laughs> a great fucking question. <laughs> <laughs>